So let's get into the first phase in some detail. Number one, limbo. That's what I call it. So this is a phase where you feel groundless, lost, and uncertain. This is a time of most inaction, where you're not really doing a lot of work. You're not getting a lot of success. You're not earning a bunch of money or stuff like that. This is a low energy phase. This is a time to heal, to reflect, to take time off, to introspect, to slow down. It's a time to decompress because, of course, it goes in a cycle. That means that this limbo that you're in right now came from a prior phase, which was the end of some other chapter. So at the end of a chapter, you go into limbo before the new chapter begins. You're not sure what the new chapter of your life is going to hold yet. And so during this time, there's not much to work on yet. And probably you need to learn lessons and decompress from stuff that happened in the last chapter. So during this limbo phase, it's important to do research and to start to look in new directions to see what kind of new opportunities are available to you. What is your next chapter of life going to be? What's the theme going to be? It can also involve coping with loss from a previous chapter. Maybe the previous chapter closed without a full resolution, or maybe it ended in catastrophic failure. It doesn't always end in success the way you want. Maybe the last chapter was you starting your business and then it all came crashing down and your business went bankrupt in some bad turn of the economy. And now you're dealing with the fallout of that. And now you got to think about, well, what's next? What's my new business? Or am I going to get a job? Or am I going to be homeless? Well, you know what? What's the next phase? It's important to use this time to integrate lessons from the previous chapter. There's probably a lot of stuff you learned whether you succeeded or failed in the last phase, it doesn't matter. There's many lessons that can be learned from success or from failure. And probably you had a mixture of both. Maybe you succeeded in certain areas but failed in other areas. So spending time just contemplating and really extracting the lessons, making the lessons explicit, that's important. This is a time also to get honest with yourself and to face your own bullshit and inner demons and inadequacies. So probably, if you had any failures in the, in, the, in the previous chapter, it's because you had serious inner obstacles that need work. That's why personal development is done. That's why consciousness work and spirituality is done. So you need to get honest about that. So maybe your business failed not because the economy took a downturn, but really because of some personal flaw that you had that now you need to own up to. And of course, that can be difficult to do. So this limbo phase can be sort of a, a melancholy, challenging phase because you are turning inwards and you're introspecting. And you're also admitting of various mistakes. You're, you're kind of looking at your own performance in the past and seeing, you know, what did you like? What didn't you like? You're accepting responsibility for your mistakes. Maybe you have certain regrets about how you handle situations that you want to handle differently next time. And so the danger here with this phase is that people might want to move through it too quickly without really going into it and doing the introspection and really doing the inner work. They might distract themselves with external activities and hobbies and things when really they need to give themselves the opportunity to fully go into this phase. So during this phase, you might feel alone. You might feel lazy. You might feel listless. You might feel purposeless. You might even feel depressed. You might fear for the future, fear of the unknown, because you don't know what comes next. You might have a sense that this is it. This is like the most that you would ever get in life is the previous peak that you got, and that now the best chapter of your life is over. Well, of course, this is just an illusion. It doesn't have to be this way, but it can feel that way. It can feel, especially when you're depressed, or you're stuck in a rut. It can feel like it's going to last forever and that you don't know how to break out of it. Of course, that's totally normal, which is why it's helpful to know that because just by knowing that already helps you to break out of it. Whereas if you start to take it too seriously and you think that it's going to last forever, then you completely lose hope. And then that's when things start to go wrong. During this phase, you're going to doubt yourself a lot. There's going to be a loss of control, a surrender, 
a facing of some of your greatest fears, admitting things about yourself and your life that you don't want to admit, maybe admitting that you wasted a lot of time or maybe admitting that you, you started the wrong type of business or you entered the wrong type of relationship for whatever personal reasons that you had. During this phase, you are realigning with your top values if you're doing it correctly. If you're doing it incorrectly, then you're ignoring your values. You don't even know you have any values and you're going off and you're distracting yourself with television or getting into some other kind of rut. During this phase, you also need to be challenging limiting beliefs. Because it's during this phase that you're starting to get little inklings of what life could hold for you next. Maybe it's a new business. Maybe it's a, a move to a different country. Maybe it's breaking with a relationship or moving away from your family or, you know, something. And you're getting little, little glimpses of what it can be. A, a vision is starting to materialize, but it takes time for that vision to become concrete. At first, it's just little inklings. And of course, as the vision starts to materialize, all sorts of limiting beliefs come up. Like, for example, maybe you start to see the vision of how you're going to start your own business. Whereas before you were working in, in some dead end job and and now that's exciting that you're starting to see this possibility. But at the same time, you have all these fears and limiting beliefs about like how, well, I've never run a business, so I don't even know what that looks like. How am I going to do it? I don't have the money. Where am I going to get the capital? Who's going to loan me money? And, you know, what if I'm not good enough? I don't have enough experience. I don't have any connections and so forth. So all those need to be challenged and, uh, your vision needs to be able to conquer all those limiting beliefs. Otherwise, you can't really move into the next phase. So as this phase begins, the limbo phase, usually you might start off in victim mentality, playing the victim with all these excuses about, well, I can't do it, I don't know how to do it, or there's something wrong with me. So various kinds of uh, victim mindsets, like I'm too old, I'm not experienced enough and so forth. And then as you're going through this phase and you're getting to the end of the limbo phase, your vision is starting to form and now you're taking more and more responsibility and you're starting to, to see that, wait a minute, maybe I can do it. Maybe I'm just doubting myself too much. Maybe this vision really is worth the effort that I'm going to put into it. Maybe I should just take a leap of faith and commit to this vision. So you're getting that towards the very end of this phase. And that's taking responsibility. And so really... This is like the beginning of a new slate for you. You can sort of start your life anew. You can be reborn. That's the power of these chapters. Every chapter is a new slate. And here we're sort of at the beginning of the new chapter. It's sort of like you're sitting down to write a novel and you just have a blank screen on your computer and you can write anything. And that's kind of scary and exciting at the same time. It's scary because like, well, what am I going to write? I can... I can write all sorts of stupid stuff and I don't know where to begin. I'm not inspired yet by anything. I don't have any kind of concrete direction. That's right, because that's how every beginning is. It's totally open. It's freedom. It's so much freedom that it's stifling. You're stifled by the freedom. Uh, on the other hand, it's exciting because there's all these possibilities. And so that's what you're dealing with. You're trying to make decisions. So at this point, you might also be very indecisive. You might have multiple visions of what you might want to do. Maybe there's three different types of business that you want to start, but you're not sure which one. Or you're trying to find your life purpose, but again, you're not sure which one. Should it be art or music or should it be filmmaking? And you're not sure which one to choose. And so you can be very um, self-doubting in this respect. But also, this is a time for exploring new opportunities, getting into totally new things that you hadn't done before in your life. Maybe it's a new hobby. Maybe it's hanging out with new people. Maybe it's studying a new subject that you hadn't studied before. Maybe it's starting to take your health seriously where before it was not even on your radar. Maybe it's now beginning spirituality and discovering the possibilities of spirituality. So you're starting to like enter new realms of life 